Exercising voting rights at shareholder meetings is a fiduciary responsibility to our clients. It's also a core part of our role as an active investor. It allows us to have a say on some of the most important issues affecting the long-term development of investee companies. As we want to be more vocal, we have started announcing our voting position on key resolutions ahead of some of the AGMs, annual general meetings. The pre-announcing of our voting intentions reflects an escalation around themes that are important to us and where our stake or engagement experience means escalating in this manner is appropriate. This is part of our engagement approach with an activist, that is an ESG activist, orientation. We want to increase our influence on investee companies and be more proactive in public, representing our client interest to investee companies with significant exposure. Pre-announcing our votes also helps to draw attention of the market, clients, and other companies to a particular issue or resolution that is important to us. At Allianz GI, we have identified three pivotal themes, which we believe are critical to society, our investors, and even ourselves as a business. Those themes are climate change, planetary boundaries, and inclusive capitalism. Climate change is one of our planet's most pressing challenges with potential consequences across all ESG elements. Planetary boundaries mean that we have to define the environmental limits within which humanity can safely operate and to avoid any unintended consequences of the challenge around climate change. And finally, inclusive capitalism, touching directly on social issues, requires innovative thinking and solutions that meet the demands of both younger and older generations as work is redefined. Those are the themes that guide our targeted engagement and research to ensure we identify the most material risks and opportunities for our business and its future impact. This would include our pre-announcement of votes. Well, in March, we announced that we intended to support Proposal 8 at the Starbucks annual general meeting. And this shareholder resolution concerned the issues of human rights. In this case, assessment of workers' rights commitments to freedom of association and bargaining rights. We believe that employee rights are material to the long-term success of many companies, especially those such as Starbucks that are critically dependent on their ability to be attractive to large numbers of high-performing employees to deliver quality products and services. Now, more recently, in fact, this past month, we announced that we would support a resolution at the Chevron annual general meeting, urging the company to extend its climate action plan to cover scope three greenhouse gas emissions consistent with the goal of the Paris Climate Agreement to limit global warming to well below two degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels and to pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius. We believe that the setting of scope three targets when material is an important element of climate strategies. And while companies have control over their direct emissions, they can have some influence throughout their value chain. And that is especially true for large companies such as Chevron. And we're not done. We plan to continue to pre-announce more voting intentions going forward in these upcoming months. <music>